Hi guys, how are you? Yes, I'm very well, thank you. Very well indeed. I'm Robin, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now in this one, I've got another brand battle, my third here brand battle. This is all about the best mousse to create the biggest, most voluminous quiff. So I've got Tony and Guy versus L'Oreal. So guys, I've had loads of suggestions for brands to battle out. I've had suggestions on the clay video I did, and also the thickening tonics video I did. And guys, so many of you asked about mousses, so I thought it was about time that I did this one. Now I should say, mousses are definitely my go-to product for doing quiffs, and actually one of these mousses was the first ever mousse that kind of won a bit of an earlier brand battle for me, and that was my first ever video I did in April 2013. So guys, in this one, I'm gonna talk about nine different things. We're gonna talk about, firstly, what the product is, the packaging, the ease of application, the styling, the texture, the volume, how the hair actually looks when it's done, we're gonna look at price, and then finally, my verdict and which brand wins this one. Guys, before I get going, if you've not yet subscribed to my channel, then please do press subscribe now. It's there or it's down there. I'm so close, so, so close to 100,000 subscribers, and I'd like you to help me get there. I think we're at 96.5. But guys, here we go, L'Oreal versus Tony and Guy. So here are the products, they are both mousses, the first one by Tony and Guy, which is a British hairdressing brand, and the second one by L'Oreal Paris. This one is the volume plumping mousse, and this one is the studio line boost and gloss. But guys, we're gonna style the hair in exactly the same way for each, the hair's gonna be slightly damp, we're gonna use a hair dryer, and then for the actual styling bit, I'm gonna take in a little bit of paste, it's gonna be fudged matte head, just to see which one gives the best final look. Looking at aesthetics and just talking packaging, the L'Oreal one you could say sort of skews more for a female market, using more of those sort of stereotypically female colors of the purple against the silver. Guys, you know, if this is just sitting in your bathroom, it doesn't really matter, but for any of you guys that want masculine looking products, then this could be an issue. Whereas, guys, the Tony and Guy one is a lot more gender neutral. You've got it with this white, sort of matte textured bottle with the ampersand in silver and the Tony and Guy in black. So guys, just purely because I actually just like it because it's slightly more sleek, the point goes to Tony and Guy. For ease of application, obviously they've both got nozzles, so it's very easy to get that little mountain of mousse into your hand. I would, however, say that the Tony and Guy one comes out a lot thicker, and actually that nozzle is slightly easier to control. You can stop and start a lot easier. So my point for ease of application goes to Tony and Guy. Now for styling, I'm using a hairdryer with both. It's a medium heat and a fast speed, and I'm getting that product right in, root to tip, using my hands to work it through, and to also start to build the volume. And then just when I'm finished, I'm blasting with a cold shot of air just to take the temperature of the hair right down. Now guys, there's not much in this, but there is one which tends to dry just slightly faster, and I think that's because it's slightly more watery in its consistency. So the point goes to L'Oreal. Talking texture, I'm really just seeing how my hair feels after using the product with a hairdryer. Now both of them actually do leave my hair feeling really light, it's got no residue on it, it doesn't feel tacky, but there is one which just feels slightly silkier. So the point for texture goes to L'Oreal Boost and Gloss. Now this is probably the most important category for a mousse, and this is volume. So which one gives my hair the biggest volume for a quiff? And I should say, they both are great at doing this versus other products that I have used in the past. But one of them does make my hair look thicker, it makes it look fuller, and it gives it an overall bigger structure. So the point for volume goes to Tony and Guy. This category of final look is just really seeing the finished product of that hairstyle that I'm creating. Now you guys know that I use a mousse as a prep treatment to boost that hair, but then I wanna get something like a paste or a putty just to really define the style and kind of lock it into place. So for this one, I have just used a little bit of that fudge matte head that I've always used. And I think because the Tony and Guy one had that better volume, the final look, I think, which is actually still in my hair right now, I've just moved it to the other side, is actually better. So the point for final look goes to Tony and Guy. Now looking at price, I've done my research for this one. I did find them in Boots and also in Superdrug, but also on Amazon. So guys, the L'Oreal Studio Line Boost and Gloss was £3.56, random price, for 200 mils, so which works out at £1.78 per 100 mils, versus the Tony and Guy Volume Plumping Mousse, I found again for another random price, at £6.64 for 222 mils. Um, 222, that's such a random. Yeah, 222 mils, which works out at £3.12 for 100 mils. So guys, 
the point for price and value goes to L'Oreal. Now for the verdict, you can see from the points that Tony and Guy is actually ahead of L'Oreal. And actually, in this case, I think it deserves to be. Because really, when we're looking at those categories, I've said before in that thickening tonic one, that actually all the categories aren't equally weighed. For a mousse, the biggest and most important category is the volume category. How much volume can you get from that one product? And actually, the Tony and Guy one has really, really nailed this one and gone straight ahead of L'Oreal. So my outright winner for this one is Tony and Guy Volume Plumping Mousse. But there you go guys, my Mousse brand battle. The winner of Tony and Guy. I think they've done very, very, very well. I'm gonna get some medals made, clap with me. I'm gonna get some medals made and get them sent out to them. Guys, do keep the suggestions for brand battles and products coming. Leave them in the comments below. And um, the more you shout, the more I hear. But please do say please. If you're not polite, then I just don't do it. Um, but guys, I'm gonna see you in my next new video which will be, come back Thursday. Let's do Thursday together. Come back Thursday, I'll see you then. And then we're gonna have another brand battle on Sunday. Bye-bye.